Now, as of Monday, every single school across Tampa Bay is open for students. Data about how COVID is impacting kids has never been more important. Yesterday, the state released their latest pediatric report, and as 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford found, some of the data can be misleading. Dr. Gary Tubb was an educator for 54 years. The 77-year-old statistics teacher retired from Hillsborough High 62 days ago. His decision to step away came to light when he had a discussion with a colleague. If you and I both have COVID, I'm 41 times more likely to die of it than you are, and that's called relative risk. Tubb is a numbers guy, so it's no wonder data had something to do with his decision. It's way too dangerous, and it's still dangerous for my colleagues. It really is. Yes, it is time to leave. Now in his free time, he analyzes coronavirus data from the Florida Department of Health. On the right hand side of the table, it gives you the total for the entire state. The latest pediatric report from the state shows a 14.7% positivity rate. That means of all the kids tested, 14.7% of them had COVID. In Hillsborough, there's a 14.2% rate and in Polk, 16.1%. Medical experts recommend a 5% positivity rate before opening up communities. On Thursday, Florida's overall percent positivity was 6.2%. The percent positivity is still pretty high because we're not testing as many students or as many kids as we are adults unless there's a highly suspect reason for them to be tested. Dr. Roberts says adults are more likely to be randomly tested whereas kids might only get tested if they have symptoms or were exposed. It's going to be honestly years before we clean up all the data that we have in this pandemic and really, really have a clear picture of what went on. And one way to track what's happening with kids in COVID right in your community is through your local school district. Most districts in the Tampa Bay area have live dashboards keeping track of coronavirus cases in schools.